Hey guys, Aaron here, and welcome back to another video where in this one we will be using the airplane. I don't know what the actual tower is called, just let me have a look real fast. The ace pilot, you know what I meant, okay? The airplane. <laughs> and yeah, we're just gonna see how well it is. Maybe do it by itself, I'm not too sure, because I don't know how expensive it actually is. But yeah, let's hope we can find a decent map though. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. I wonder if we'll be with someone again or we'll be by ourselves again. I don't really care if I'm with someone or by myself. Like, I know if I'm by myself, I'm gonna lose. But if I'm with someone, most of the time we win. There have been a couple of times where we have lost, but that's okay. So we're just gonna try it out. How much is it? I'm actually gonna check just before we load it. It is $500 to spawn in. So all the money that you start off with in the game. Unless you join the group, which then you get an extra $100. But that's right. And we are doing Molten as uh, always now. And where do we want to spawn? So let's get the circled radius. So I say right there will do perfectly. So what do we have? Ec one extra damage for the first upgrade. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. Fires 0.15 seconds. That's not too bad. And yeah, let's just begin, I guess. But if you haven't already, do leave a like and subscribe with the notification as we're trying to hit our goal of 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And if you did, that would be amazing. All right. So he's hit all of them except the last one. So they sh is it that they shoot in the circle or something? I don't know. Bomb dropping in the next one and one extra range. It would be nice if the circle went to around here as well, but uh, I can't really tell the game that. I'm just hoping one of the upgrades does that, which I'm not too sure. Because this is the first time I've like really used it. I used to use it on my main account, but I barely do anymore. So yeah. All right. So makes it fire quicking, uh, fire quicking, quick firing, uh, double damage and bomb dropping again. Oh, that's cool with the bombs. Instead of just dropping straight down, it actually aims for the zombies. That's cool. In the other tower defense game that I played, it just drops instead. It's like, oh, but that's cool. So it looks like there's five levels for uh, Ace Pilot, which is very nice. And then the good thing about doing the solo is I get all the money, like a lot more money than doing duos, trios, or squads. So can't complain. The only thing I'm going to be a bit worried about is the first boss. Like sure he fires quickly, but like he's going to go all the way around and then he's going to do the same thing again and again. Actually, how much does the bomb do? Actually, I actually want to know. It doesn't say, which is a problem. Oh, there we go. Just caught a boom. Boom, there we go. Spy plane, hidden detection, two extra damage, stronger bombs, and nearby towers get HD at the start of a wave. HD, what's that? If anyone, know, if anyone knows what HD is, please let me know. HD at the start of a wave. Oh, hidden detection. Never mind, I figured it out. Oh, so it's only for the beginning, and then he, they just lose it. Huh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I feel like his last upgrade is going to be really expensive. Like, just his next one is 3,600. So that's going to take a couple of waves before I can afford it. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just skip the wave. I usually don't, but we're going to. I know Wave 10's the first boss. No, that's for normal mode. This is, um, Molten, so different. I was gonna say, what's this? But it's just saying that I skipped the wave. Because I wasn't gonna wait, so might as well. Alright, they should be finished just here. Tada. Oh, I need a bit more money. I'd say one more wave, and then I can get the spy plane. I love how the look of it changed. So it used to look like that, and now it looks like that. Does that mean it'll go to a darker color when I upgrade it again? That'd be pretty cool. Yes, let's skip the wave. Oh, we're just short. Okay, well, it, I'm glad. Hopefully there's no boss in this one. Hopefully it's the next wave, please. Oh, it is this wave. Great. I'm just hoping a lot of damage is done to the boss. Let's see. Oh, it's gonna shoot the bomb at that. Oh, that's annoying. 24 damage, though. That's without bomb. Let's see. The bomb does some decent damage. Not gonna lie. Yeah, he should die about here. So I'd say two more laps for the ace pilot, and then, yeah, and then he's gone. And then when we get this upgrade, it'll only be two ways around and then he should die. There we go. I was right, it does. Air fighter. Oh, seven and a half grand. That's so much. There's two extra range, fires even faster, plus three damage, stronger bombs, and nearby towers get hidden detection at the start of a wave. Yes, that's so much. 7,500. Is it worth it? Who knows? Do I need to buy another one? Probably soon, I would say. But yes, we're going to skip this wave. All right, we've got two normal bosses. So the bomb will do some decent damage. So I think it was stronger on the um, on the upgrade earlier. I will, I'm not too sure, though. Even though I literally just upgraded it not too long ago. Um, Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Because why not? Got to risk it for the biscuits sometimes. Well, one of the bosses is already gone, so that's good. Ooh, hidden. Lucky we got hidden detection in time. See, that's what I hate now that the bomb's being used on the hiddens, it can't be used for a bit. Well, now it can. Alright, we're past halfway for the money that we need. Beautiful. 
blows, normal boss, normal boss. Is that really all the wave is? That's small. Okay, I'm not complaining though. Oh, I just realized range isn't this circle here. It's the range that this plane has itself. Oh, okay. That's not bad then. 80 and 149. So probably in the next episode, it'll probably have to be a stream. Which I'm not complaining, like, I like doing streams on this game. So we can get some more coins, obviously. Oh, he's got 16 now. Yeah, skip that. There we go, we got the fighter jet now, let's go. Yo, it's a lot faster as well, which I do like. Okay, well, this is our uh, next tower, so it's beautiful. Bro, he fires so fast. That's cool. Uh-oh, this might be a problem, though. Okay, that might have wasn't really a problem at all. I'm gonna put it right... Here. Perfect. And then we just upgrade this again. Oh, look how much faster the jet is compared to this. Well, obviously, if you put them in a race, this one would destroy this plane. Uh, do we want to skip it? Well, they're all dead anyway, so it didn't even matter. All right, we got our first Necromancer. We're going to skip this just so we can get the next upgrade here. And so he can do more damage also. Look at that. That normal boss just died instantly. Gone. Necromancer's health is nearly all gone as well, which is beautiful. How did you not shoot them? What? Okay, that, that's weird, but whatever. I like the bombs. They're very useful, especially when you have like a big group, so then it can hit all of them. All right, normal boss, normal boss, slows. We're on wave 21, so we're halfway. Some hiddens, breakers, I hate the breakers. Moltens, okay, and that's it. All right, um, I'm not gonna skip the wave, only because they take a little bit to die, except they died instantly, so never mind, I was wrong. 1,700 for a wave bonus, that's good. Bunch of slows, some hiddens. Uh, more breakers. Great. Just exactly what I needed, didn't I? And two normal bosses and the slow boss. So hopefully we can get this air fighter real quick. Please, game. No, I was going to skip it. I'm like, hang on, we can just kill them and then get enough. There we go. Now we got two. So let's see if we can do enough damage to this dude. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Let's get another one right below it. Um, Place it right there. Perfect. And bombs away again. That's good. All right, so we wreck slow bosses really nicely. Like, they only make it to here at the moment. So that's not even bad. That's only with two of the jets as well. Like, if we had more, they would die about here somewhere, which would be good as well. Oh, we got another one. Would you look at that? And the Necromancer would be even more annoying. Great. Uh, should I risk it? Uh, nah. I'll wait. So this is where you don't want to skip, because then you know you'll, you have a bigger chance of losing. There we go. That's gone. But we get money a lot faster now, which is nice. Ooh, our first hidden boss. Okay. Let's see how well we do against him. Eh, pretty decent, to be fair. Yeah. We did alright. But the more level 5 uh, planes we have, the better. Because that's the only level where they can see hidden, which is kind of dumb. But oh well. New necromancers this time. Okay. That's fine. We can destroy them instantly. So I'm going to skip this wave, get another fighter, and we'll place another one literally just beneath that. But we're doing pretty well with this tower. Oh, no, not the bolts. Okay, they weren't even a problem. Never mind. And they're called shock, not bolts. Skip the wave. Yes, please. They died instantly, those three normal bosses. Oh, okay. Two slow bosses. Get out of here, chat. Two slow bosses and shock. Is that it? No. Nope. And two necromancers and two hidden bosses. Okay. Trying to make it a challenge, I see. So what are you going to do against three jets and one close to a jet? Nothing. That's the answer. This might be a little problem, actually. Because they don't, like, they hit the first, but they don't go for the second until after the first one's dead, which isn't that good. There we go. There's our next air fighter. And he's going to be gone now. Perfect. All right. Um. Um, put one above, I guess. Sure, why not? And we just try and get him to the jet. Oh, I wonder how many of these you can actually get. I, I know there's a limit. Well, I'm guessing there's a limit. Otherwise, it would be too OP because of the damage they actually do, which is really good. If so, then I'll probably just get one of these. I do like Hunter. Hunter is good. I might do Hunter. Oh, we got our first speedy boss. Uh oh. Can I at least get this next jet real fast? Yes, I can, beauty. Oh, it's gonna be close. The only problem is that he's faster. Okay, we got that easy. Sweet. Oh, I can get another one. Sweet. Let's go. So after that one, we'll start placing him back here just in case. We've got four, five, six slow boss and a speedy boss. Great. Just what we needed, didn't we? Well, he still died quickly, which is very nice. Uh, do we want to skip the wave? No, because we got five of them to deal with. And we can almost get the next air fighter anyway, so it doesn't even matter. And there we go. Our next plane going here, and he's gone. 
this week. No way we just win with plain. I highly doubt it, but that would be cool if that actually happened. Oh no, not the purple breakers. They're annoying. Like just the green ones are annoying, but they're way more annoying than those purple ones. And goodbye, speed boss. Oh yeah, purple turns into red and then red turns to green and then green turns to blue. And I accidentally skipped the wave. Kidding, I did that on purpose. But we should be able to defeat them in time. But there goes that one and then there's one more. And then more to come. Alright, there's that. More. No, I'm not skipping this wave though. We've got three hidden bosses, four more slow bosses, a necromancer, and breakers. And we can almost afford another air fighter. Here we go. Perfect. Do I want to place them out here? I do, but I don't. Place one here, so then I can hit both sides. Because I feel like placing them out here, oh, they can sort of, but not really hit there. This one has a good spot. I like where this one is. Oh, great. Another speedy boss of like eight slow bosses. Just what I need as well. And some multi. I haven't seen those in a little bit. And the purple break is beautiful. No, do not skip this wave. Uh, we're going to get a plane over here. I don't like how these slow bosses are making it further. Like, the furthest they made it was to here, and now they make it to here. And that's not good. Because they just keep spawning, like, there was four, and then there was six, and then just before there was eight. And now we got more purple breakers. Okay, is that it? There's no way it's just those, and that's it. It really is just those. Okay, cool. An easy wave. Oh, there we go. We got the limit. Ten is the limit. Well, it's kind of good, not to lie. In my backup, because I don't want them to damage straight away, even though their range is insane, because I want the planes to do it themselves. But we can see planes are really OP, so I'm going to put all the hunters in the back, especially for the boss as well. Oh no, not the mystery summoner. He can summon any boss or unit, I guess. We got to get rid of him quickly. Yes, we're going to skip the wave because I'm goaded. Oh, he only summoned breakers. Okay. Oh no, we got two speedy bosses. That's not good. See, this is why the hunters will be useful for stuff like this. And they can hit across here, but that's okay. See in the time I'll allow it. Yeah, here's more of the slow bosses again. Just beautiful. And we had three hidden bosses and Moltons. Alright. Uh, no, we're not going to skip the wave. Because it's another one of those. And I'd rather not try and fight it with the next wave. No way we win this by ourselves, right? Get out of here. If we beat this by ourselves, I'm the number one player. Even though I know I'm not, but still. And the mystery summoner's gone. Easy. It really is easier than normal mode, surprisingly. Because in the first video, I did normal mode thinking that was easier. But then in my live stream, I was told this is easier than normal. Which doesn't really make sense, but oh well. This one was maxed out, right? Yeah, it was. Okay, cool. Well, it's getting a little tougher now. Like six or eight hidden bosses. Definitely one I need as well. Will they make it past the card? I hope not. They didn't. Good. The first I want to see them make it to. Oh, three speedy bosses. Okay. So the first one will die instantly. The second one will die about up here. And the third one, I'm not too sure. Never mind, he's gonna die like right up there. Perfect. No, I actually think we can win this. And it was all thanks to the planes. Like, we would still be alive, I would say. Even if I didn't have the hunters down. The Molten Titans though, they've got a decent amount of health, so they're gonna take a bit. And then the actual Molten boss itself has like 70,000 health or something. Alright, last wave. Can we actually win for the first time by ourselves? This has never been done before, because I've won with like everyone else. Set myself. So right, let's see. Yep, 70,000 health. That was alright. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm trying to place this, but the shaking of the screen is not helping at the moment. Oh, but what I hate is the Molten Boss can spawn more Molten Titans. And that's annoying. Imagine if they had these in Attack on Titan. That'd be pretty weird, but cool. In a way. But I really need to watch the new season of Attack on Titan. I still haven't watched it yet. Even though I've watched, like, every other episode of Attack on Titan. Oh, stop doing that shaky thing. It's annoying. We're killing him kind of slow, not gonna lie. Don't tell me we act lose, right? He spawned another titan, didn't he? He did. He spawned two. Okay, I see how it is. The only thing that sucks is that when, oh, they've got a little bit more range here, but other than that, that's all they've got left. While the hunters, they have too much range, but kind of good now. Yeah, we might not win this, actually. Like, planes are good, but they're not really that good at the moment. I'm gonna sell you and put you over here. Of course, I don't have enough. Like, he's, like, he's halfway in health, but he's more than halfway of the map. I can actually place one here. Come on, die, please. Get rid of these planes. And then we place them over here. Done. There we go. Another one. Oh, it's going to be close. Move out of the way of me. 10,000 health and all he has left is one corner. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. No! No, 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 no. We don't need these right now. Please. No! Get rid of them. Come on. Get out of here. Woohoo! Come on. Yes, let's go. We got it. Let's go. Oh, we barely won that again. Let's go. Like, it wasn't even the molten boss we would have died to. It would have been one of the minions and stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that Zobo and we won. So we can officially do solos by ourselves, which is nice. But just quickly, if I go to... Oh, not shop. I want to go to rewards and badges. Isn't one of them just defeating the first one? I've 
defeat and fall, there is. So I can get some extra experience. Okay. I could do that. Frost invasion. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's great. We can almost get, um... Isn't there one for level 25? I don't think so. No? no apparently it's level 30. And what level am I? 18. Close to level 19. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do leave a like and subscribe with the notification. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys.